we can ship. I got involved a bit through this, through uh, MichiganActing.com, and I just saw a zombie movie, so I um, was really excited about it, so I just sent out the audition for it, and that's pretty much how I found out about it. Um, I watched all zombie movies. I wasn't really familiar with many, so um, I found out what the directors were looking for, for um, a zombie and how fast they wanted a movie, and then I kind of just danced it out. <laughs> to figure out how a zombie would move. So that's all I did. The cast and crew are amazing. They're super friendly. And the idea of zombies who eat because they're poor is completely unique and completely funny. So you should definitely go check it out. I'm Robin McCoy. These people are amazing and have just so many talents and so much experience. I'm just picking their brains. Getting up early in the morning to be here every day, that's probably been the hardest part. It's a long day of shooting and you got to come back the next morning at 5 in the morning. That's pretty hard, but everybody's so happy and so enlightened that it's easy to do. Managed to get some actual guts from a sheep and sheep bones for to use in that scene. So that was really interesting. That was my probably my biggest contribution to the film was holding that dummy and making sure the bit stayed in its neck every time it fell off. I have a friend who has a packing company and when they answered the phone they were more than happy. They're like, oh you need it for a house of horrors and I said no it's actually for a movie and they're like okay well what do you want? <laughs> People should go see this movie because A, it's not your typical zombie movie. It's a beautiful comedy. It, all the gags are going to be hilarious. Um, the second reason is it's local. All local artists are working on it, and it's just a great collaborative experience for a lot of people. And the third reason is people are actually getting paid to do this. <laughs> They're actually getting paid for their art and that is just a major thing. Even though it's not very much and hopefully we can raise funds for there to be more, but yeah, definitely worthwhile. My name is Angela Kaiser and come check out AkeLayWithDead.com. Hi, I'm Katie. I'm a makeup artist on this project, and this is how you start out making a zombie. Hello, I'm Angela K. Miller, and I 
am from Hamburg Township, and uh, I am the bride's son. You can barely see my veil because my hair is too big. I'm in a lot of the group scenes. Um, I get to play volleyball, and I play first base. Um, in the baseball game, okay. and um, I we're not done yet, so I'm not sure what else I'll be doing. I have it. I'll go to like, oh, should I check my? No, no, I don't have to fix my lipstick. I don't have to miss fix my hair. Like everything's just yeah, gorgeous. Done already. <laughs> well, I did. I did watch some zombie footage. Um, you know, thriller, <laughs> um, The Walking Dead, stuff like that that's going on right now, yeah. just to kind of get the feel. Hello, I'm Angela K. Miller. I play the bride zombie, and you should definitely. Okay, my name's Ed Parker, and I'm from Centerline, Michigan. Actually, I've done theater for a couple of years now, and I actually saw a casting call for a movie, and I decided to go ahead and apply, and here I am. Well, like I said, I do uh, community theater, so I do a lot with the Farmington Players and also the Sterling Civic Theater Group, and this is actually my second film. Well, it did require a little bit of research. Um, I've watched a couple of zombie movies, and I watched uh, one of the popular shows on one of the networks. I don't know if I can say it or not, but uh, one of our crew members did some zombie training. He posted a couple of videos on YouTube about what zombies do. Basically, they stand around their board, so they're just kind of just bobbing around, trying to figure out, okay, what do I do next? <laughs> this movie is very interesting because it doesn't follow the norm of what you expect out of a zombie. Uh, the premise is that zombies eat because they're bored, and if they're entertained, then they don't want to eat. Okay, my name is Ed Parker. I am a featured zombie from Centerline, Michigan. Come check us out at dayplannerofthedead.com. Maureen Mansfield and I'm from Farmington Hills and I got involved because being a zombie in a movie was on my bucket list. I was a zombie briefly for five seconds and something else but that didn't count. I am Dawn of the Dead. I am a clerk who works at ON Fabric and I am recently dead. If you like horror and if you like comedy then this is the show that you need to see. I laughed like crazy reading the script. I'm laughing as they're filming it, and there's no reason that you won't. My name is Maureen Mansfield, and check us out on dayplannerofthedead.com. My name is Elizabeth Wobble. I'm from Emily City, which is about a half an hour east of here. I got involved with the project after watching the little things unfold, the little inner workings unfold with Dean while he was writing the script and listening to him get excited about it and heard about the casting call and said, all right, I would really like to do this. This would be fun. Working with this cast and crew is amazing. Everybody's great. Everybody's always in a good mood. We've dealt with freezing cold weather and horrible winds and it really hasn't mattered. Everyone's been in a good mood. And I've worked in a haunted barn for a few years, about six or seven years now, and so I've had a little bit of preparation for that, you know, learning how to be creepy and all that kind of good stuff, and just sort of watched a lot of horror movies, watched a lot of zombie films that I wouldn't normally have always watched, just to kind of get an idea of the feel of the movements and that kind of stuff. Um, this is not your conventional zombie movie. This is not a hack and slash, blood and guts all the time. I mean, you're going to have a little bit of blood, you're going to have a little bit of guts, because you have to, because it's zombies. If you didn't have that, it would, wouldn't even work. Um, it's funny, the script is very, very funny. Um, I would not, nor I don't normally do horror movies as far as a general rule. It's just not my sort of thing, and I would go and pay to see this movie. My name is Alyssa Wobble, and you need to check out dayplannerofthedead.com. You'll miss out if you don't. My name is Holly Russell. I am actually from Rockford, Michigan, the other side of the state. Um, just saw the audition, sent in headshot resume. They asked me to come down, and here I am. I love the cast, I love the set, I love the makeup artist. This is so much fun. Day Planner of the Dead is the perfect marriage of horror and comedy. So you can be scared and laugh at the same time. You get no other emotion like this. You have to see it. 
the cast has been amazing to work with. I have made some wonderful friends and we're, uh, we'll be zombie brothers and sisters forever. I am Holly Russell and come check us out at dayplannerofthedead.com. Uh, right now I'm trying to uh, coordinate our extras. We need a lot of extras in the theater and getting people to commit to it and stick to it has kind of been my job the last several weeks. I love all of our extras. I really, the ones, the people who have come out and helped us have been really wonderful, but I've gotten some emails such as one last night that asked for information about the uh, location and the time. She said they were very interested would love to be a zombie extra. I gave her the time and she responded with that time doesn't work for me. Can we reschedule the shoot? <laughs> so I sent her a sort of professional but little bit of an email that said no and don't ask that dumb question again. <laughs> Hi, I'm Alyssa O'Brien, and you're going to have to check out Day Planner of the Dead when it's done. It's going to be a fantastic movie. Lots of great people involved, lots of great crew, a groundbreaking horror comedy with the zombies. So check us out on Facebook, Day Planner of the Dead. Thank you. Hey guys, Paul Herring here, Flint After Dark. We've got some activity going on in Carriagetown, man. They're making a movie, dude. I'm here with Dean. He's doing Day Planner of the Living Dead. Did I get that right? Day Planner of the Living Dead? Day Planner of the Dead. Of the Dead. Mm -hmm. Right here in Carriagetown, guys. Why don't you tell me a little bit about the movie? Sure. Uh, the movie is a zombie comedy, and uh, the premise is that zombies don't kill people because they're hungry or they're vengeful. They eat because they're bored, okay. just like a lot of other people we know. So our lead character discovers that if he keeps them entertained, he stays alive, and so he becomes recreation director for the undead. Nice, yeah. nice. So I, I guess there's a couple laughs in it, right? Uh, well, hopefully more than a couple. All right. Where, where can we see this movie? Uh, once it's finished, we'll be uh, making it available for sale on DVD. And the the um, the goal is that we're going to use it as a proof of concept to turn it into a feature film that we will hopefully be able to shoot on location in Flint as well. Nice. How long is it going to be? Uh, the short will run about 15 minutes, and then when we do the feature, probably 90 to 100 minutes. Now, Neil, I'm looking at the crew over here, and I don't see one video camera. What, what are you using to shoot? Um, you'd have to talk to the crew for that. I'm just a writer and actor. I don't know that all that fancy all, all stuff? stuff. No, no, no. All right, is there a website the folks can go to to check it out? Um, right now, you can check us out on Facebook at Day Planner of the Dead. And uh, if you want to contribute to our fundraising efforts, go to Indiegogo, search for Day Planner of the Dead. Uh, you'll learn more about the project, and we've got a good, uh, pretty entertaining video for it, I think. So. Hey, guys, you got it here. Carriage Town, on the map, baby, a chance to do good. Check out his website. Do it right, all right? Peace.